Hello YouTube, this is Kesa and I'm back here with another video. Today's topic we are going to talk about Malia, Malia Davis. Whew, I'm going to try to get through this. This is going to be a rough one. Yeah, Malia Davis. You know, I didn't even know who Malia Davis was at first. I kept seeing this picture of this little girl on the internet and I didn't get into it. I just... I, I, I seen the court and the mother and I just didn't pay too much attention to it and then yesterday I looked on the internet and found out more details of what was going on and I just thought about it all night long I even was dreaming about it yeah I can't I can't I'm like obsessed at this point like Oh my god. How did they fail Malia? Why? Why would they do this to this child? Apparently she, um, her mother has a boyfriend. They keep calling him her stepfather. It's not a stepfather. Stepfather, don't, don't, don't give him a title as a stepfather. He was her mom's boyfriend. Fiance, supposedly, is what they said. And they keep saying stepfather. It just, it just nerves me when they keep saying that. Um, the mom went to a funeral and left her child with the boyfriend. And I guess when she came home, the baby was gone. And he had some story about some Mexican guy's pulling over and um, um, pulling over and pretty much kidnapping him and his son and his stepdaughter um, pulling them over to and I don't know he woke up and uh, had scratches all over him just scratches all over his body and he said that he got jumped and they, they took Malia. They looked at Malia. He remembered them saying that Malia was cute. And that's all he remembers. And then they, and then Malia was gone. He went to the hospital to tell him this story. <sighs> oh, God. Okay, so he does that. And then the mother comes home this was a year ago by the way and the plotting just thickens you know I, I I just found out that well I'll get into it but anyway the mother comes home and uh she he tells her yeah this is what happened to uh our our daughter your your daughter my stepdaughter and um he had said something about they did it. They had footage of the apartment building and they um, had um, surveillance of him coming out with one of those laundry baskets and it had clothes in it and he had like some sweats and sweats had like a line, like Adidas line down on the sweats. But then at the top part of the sweats, it looked kind of bloody to me. Um... He said he was doing cleaning. And she thought it was kind of odd because he never does cleaning and the house didn't get clean. So that was his excuse for carrying out a laundry basket. They think that the baby was in there. Oh, this is so awful. Wow. Wow. Um, so yeah, they... they they say the baby was in the, the basket, or they feel like it is, allegedly. Um, mm. And um, so he, he um, gave her some story, and I guess she went for it. So a year later, now she's saying she's confessing some of the things that were red flags. This happened a year ago. Now she is com coming forward saying some of the red flags. To make it sound like that he really has done something to her daughter. She didn't say anything about the red flags a year ago. But now she is talking about the red flags. Red flags. Whew. I guess the red flags 
are supposed to be, well, in her words, because the lawyer spoke on it, um, she, he would bring he would bring the baby home from from the daycare early. Just out of nowhere, he'd just go pick her up and bring her home early. Like, who who does that? <laughs> that is kind of odd for you to come pick up the baby. Like, okay, so he comes and picks up the baby. He takes time off from work. And then he goes and picks up the baby. Wow. And the baby's been abused. I guess um, uh, Child Protection Agency, um, they come in and they check on the baby uh, I think she's like, by the way, I think she's like four years old. They keep, they come by and check on the child and the child, the child was abused. They took her to the hospital. Um, they've, I guess she's been to the hospital a couple times, it's supposed to be like just her being accident prone. Oh, they got this one picture where she's got this knot on her eye and she's sitting on her dad's lap, her real dad, and she's just got this eye thing, like, punched in her eye. I don't know. Like, they said that the child has been abused. So anyway, they do the investigation. I guess they come, they pale out to be okay, I guess, because she didn't get, she didn't get uh, taken out of the house. So, um, they've been abusing her. The mom says that he would want to give her a bath. She says that like a year later. <sighs> That's weird. Um, him taking her out of daycare early. Uh, she she said that she didn't like that he was spanking her. This is all her saying a year later. What some of the red flags. Is it that serious? Is it that serious, though, to have a man that bad that you allow, allow him to hurt your baby? Okay, this is the kicker. The day of the whole um, incident, um, or the night before, I don't know, she goes to see about her family, goes to a, a funeral to go see about her family. And, um, sorry, I just have to stretch. Um, she goes to see about her, her, um, her family. She gets in a fight with her, her boyfriend and, um, leaves her baby with the boyfriend. The boyfriend has a child of his own, but she left her, her baby with him. And, um, before she leaves, she has a big fight with him. And she says she's seen him looking at, uh, pictures of, other males on the internet and then she says that she's leaving him and I don't know just just talking that talk whatever and left her baby with this man left her baby with this man I'm sorry I call bullshit <laughs> try to do this i was gonna try to do this and be real real uh I, I ain't gonna be able to do it i ain't gonna be able to do it i call bullshit i think the mom is in on this in some in some way i don't think she abused her child but i think she knows more i, I don't think she really wanted this kid to be around to be honest with you it's my opinion it's just my opinion but i i don't mm -mm. i just don't see it like she <sighs> has a fight with him and then she leaves her baby with her with the man and the baby's been abused all this time so we already know he has a, he has a tendency to, to to knock a girl in the head and then you're gonna leave your baby with him how can you leave your baby with this man if you weren't if you didn't care like this woman don't care like really this woman don't care and the people at the courthouse were pissed and I understand why they were pissed. Because I would have been pissed. Like, ooh. I, 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 I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I'm sorry. I don't I don't see it. I don't see it. You know how you, you try to... You know like somebody's got the power over you over something. And you're just like, I'm going to be cool. Because I don't know what this person going to do. Like, like, if you get a ride with somebody. And 
and you could be stranded somewhere and you might be like, you know what, I'm going to be real cool because this fool might like strand he might leave me out here in in the, in the nowhere. So I'm going to be cool until I get back home and then I'm going to let him know how I feel, blah blah blah. But you don't talk shit knowing that your child is you going to leave your child it just doesn't make sense. You wouldn't even you wouldn't put yourself in harm's way like that. You wouldn't do that. You you don't you you, you don't ask a favor of somebody. Watch my kid or do this for me. But by the way, I'm gonna do this to you and talk this way and da, 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 and I don't know if you how you gonna move. Really? Who does that? Who says I'm leaving you and I caught you doing this and this and this and that da 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 da. By the way, I'm gonna come and get my baby. No, it's just. <laughs> an idiot no really i i, I no they did did they not want this child just okay if you don't want your child just take your job child and drop them off drop them off at a church a hospital uh, at the uh, uh the police station at the mall drop them off somewhere if you don't want your child because this is what i think i think the woman didn't want her child no more she didn't want to be burdened with that kid no more and he he mm, she says, oh, my kid, I just, oh, you are waiting, you are waiting for someone to kill this kid. This kid has been hurt. If this kid never been hurt before and this happened, okay, I can probably understand that. But this kid had like nine lives, really. This kid has been his destiny to, to be to someone to hurt it because she is constantly getting hurt, getting whooped on. She's constantly getting whooped on. Like she had a brain surgery? The child had brain surgery. Like, who has brain surgery in their lifetime? The child had brain surgery because they are whooped on her. It's just a matter of time you're going to kill him. And then this clown had all these scratches all over his body. They're just scratches. They're not deep. They're scratches. Just scratches all over his body, around his neck. And he's trying to claim, like, he got abused by the, by the killers. Like, really, does it, 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 I know that happens in the movies, but really, the killer's just got, driving by, oh, we're going to go kill you, and uh, we're not, we're going to, no, we're going to let you live, let your son live, and we, we're going to take your baby. The baby that had the thing on her head, because she just had brain surgery, we're going to, we're going to kill that, and then we'll let you live, we'll just scratch you up, what do they do, just sit there and scratch them the scratches you guys <laughs> go check it out please go look at the scratches they're just scratches men don't fight like that <clears throat> men don't fight like that there's not bruises there's no there's no broken bones it's just scratches women scratch maybe the baby scratched him the four-year-old or possibly when he was trying to get rid of the baby, he got, you know, maybe he was in the woods or somewhere. I guess this is in Texas or somewhere. Houston? Yeah. I call bullshit. I'm sorry, I do. I call it. I, mm -mm. Come on now. Come on now. And the, and the mother now says there's red flags? What'd they do with that baby? What did she do with that baby? What did he do with that baby? Did they bury her somewhere? This is so awful. This is so awful. There's a beautiful little girl. <sighs> oh my God. Why? 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 Why are people so wicked? They just kept beating on this kid. Until she died. And then they had to, like, cover it up. It's so horrible. Why are they abusing little children? Just walk away. If you got an urge to beat on something that bad, just walk away. I don't know if he did go to jail or not. I don't know if he's in jail. I don't, I don't know. I just learned about this yesterday. I think this is so horrible. And their mother... I want to beat her ass. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do love it. 
come on. You just don't. You just can't for. And I don't even. For her to even say, oh, we got in a bad fight and I left the baby with it. Come on now. This stranger. Where was the father? The real father. Not saying that you can't leave your kids with your your a good person, a good person that you live with, your your husband or your boyfriend. There's a lot of people do do this. Come on, like oh, you shouldn't have left your kids with your boyfriend. People do this all the time. But not people that constantly have been whipping on your child. She she needs to go to jail. Sorry. She needs to go to jail. She needs to be locked up. She gets to just walk around being free and no one, we know. Ugh. Saying that they're Mexican people that took it. The Mexican people don't mess with babies. Come on now. No. Just, no. He's, he is such... I, I I don't know how to get around it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got to switch my energy. I got to move around. <sighs> this was a rough one. I think I can hold back the tears. But, ooh. Okay. Like, share, and subscribe. If um, Share if you care and subscribe. Come on. Just hit that button. Hit the button already. Oh, and go check out more information about Malia Davis. Mm. Just know that you're probably not going to sleep tonight if you do. It is horrible what they've done to this kid. They've really failed this kid. They have... <sighs> I hope they get some justice for this little girl. I really do. It's so unfair. Whooping on children. I mean, the, the evidence is right there. Everybody should be in trouble. Why did they take that baby out of that house? Oh, my God. Love on your children. Come on. You just thought she was just going to be able to keep on getting beatings and beatings. And, and, and she was just going to, it, it never was going to get to this place. This is horrible. Anyway, like, share, and comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.